Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to add a blood flow effect to the beginning or end of a video clip in DaVinci Resolve. Inside my edits window, I currently have a 10 second video clip on my project timeline. Go to effects library. Under toolbox in video transitions, scroll down to find noise dissolve. Left click on this transition option and drag this to the edit on your timeline. Either at the start or end of your edit depending on what you wish to create. For the first part of this tutorial I am going to focus on the creation of a blood flow outro to the video clip already on my timeline. Ensure that your mouse cursor is close to either of the ends of your edit so that a white transition container appears on your video track. Select this transition edit, go to inspector and resolve. At present this noise dissolve transition lasts for one second. I am going to increase this to three seconds. The transition edits on your timeline can also be changed manually using the mouse by left clicking on the end and dragging this horizontally across your video edit. The time difference between the original start point of your transition and its updated position on the timeline is shown in the top value inside the dark grey box which appears as you are adjusting the width of your edit. The bottom number represents the number of seconds and frames that the whole transition lasts for, such as 2 seconds and 16 frames here for example. Once you have set the duration of your transition, click on Fusion. Select version 1. Underneath Controls, leave Mix at its default value. Type should be set to Linear. Change Softness to 0.016. An increased softness adds a blur to the edge of the solid colour. And Animation should be 0. Border should be unticked as well. If animation is increased to 0.213, like here for example, there will be solid colour content appearing on screen which is separated from the main dissolve effect above. We want for the whole solid colour visual that will make up the blood flow to remain together. And so I will keep the animation at 0. Click on Noise. Detail should be set to 1. Seath to 0.224. Discontinuous unticked, inverted unticked, start x 0.5, start y 1.0, end x 0.5 and end y 0.0. Offset should be set to 0.0 and repeat to once. Right click on the transition edit on your timeline and choose open in Fusion page. Media in 2 is connected to a green foreground socket which represents the blood flow that will appear on screen. Select this Media in 2 node. Hold Shift and press Space. Search for Color Gain, select this tool and go to click on Add. With the new Color Gain node selected, go to Inspector, under Gain and Lift change red to 1.0. This will produce the main colour for the blood flow. With the colour gain node still selected on your nodes panel, hold shift and press space once again and go to find the brightness and contrast tool. Go to add this. With the new brightness and contrast node selected, go to inspector and underneath controls, change gain to 0.5. This should make the blood red colour appear less vibrant. Go back to your edit window, select your video clip edit, hold Ctrl and press C to copy. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Ensure that your red playhead is positioned at the end of your original video clip. Hold Ctrl and press V to paste. In your new duplicated edit, select the transition edit and press delete. Select your duplicated edit, 
drag this to the next video track up on your project timeline and ensure that this is positioned parallel with your original edit with the start and end points of both video clips in line with one another. Select your video clip copy, go to inspector, underneath composite, change composite mode to darken. This should add transparency to the blood flow. To make a copy of your blood flow transition effect, hold in Alt on your keyboard, select your transition edit, and drag this to either another edit on your timeline, to the beginning or end, or to the opposite point on the same edit. In the video preview, with the blood flow outro transition already complete, a pasted copy of this transition at the start of the video clip has applied the red effect to the video itself, and not to the solid colour which will make up the blood flow. So how can we ensure that the colour black is changed to red and the video clip maintains its original colour? Right click on your transition edit at the intro and go to open in fusion page. Previously we applied colour gain and brightness nodes to media in 2. What needs to happen if you are applying a noise dissolve effect to the start of a video clip is that these two nodes need to be connected to media in 1 instead and media in 2 can connect directly to noise dissolve. Disconnect these two nodes by left clicking on the parts of the three lines which are closest to the sockets. I will start by clicking on the line between media in 2 and colour gain 1, then the line between colour gain 1 and brightness and contrast, and finally the line between brightness and contrast and noise dissolve. Left click on the grey box to the side of media in 2 and connect this to the foreground green socket to noise dissolve which should return the original colour shades of the video clip which you are editing. Disconnect media in 1 from the background socket of noise dissolve. Connect media in 1 to colour gain 1 via the yellow input triangle. Establish a similar connection between colour gain 1 and brightness and contrast 1. And finally connect brightness and contrast to the noise dissolve background and the result should be two blood flow effects on screen. The outro is reminiscent of the death sequence to one of my all-time favourite video games, GoldenEye for the Nintendo 64 by Rare. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.